Hello everybody, this is Inglorious P back on a video today, and today I have probably one of my best videos I'll ever release. Um, it's going to be highly informative. It's going to be a video that um, you should walk away from and have your own opinions. You can comment, um, but this is a video that I think will kind of shine a light on what's going to happen over the next five to ten years in the hobby and moves that you can make to prepare yourself so that when people look back they can say well when everyone's saying oh i wish i made that move you will be in the right before i get into it though please like comment subscribe let me know what y'all think below and let's get into it so first things first this video is about fanatics and csg and why i believe csg is the play now so that it can pay dividends later um and i understand I'm going to get pushback from that. People are going to say, well, I love PSA. I love whatever. You can do that. Um, but I think those are short-sighted. Those are moves that you can make now. They are not moves that are correct for the long term. Fanatics. This past, uh, earlier this year, doubles valuation of $12.8 billion after a new round of funding. This guy, Michael Rubin, the, found, the Fanatics founder and executive, is the guy. He's the guy you need to keep an eye on. He owns Fanatics. He helped work that move. They got Fanatics to take over the rights to the MLB, NBA, and NFL coming in 2025. Okay, um, tons of funding um, from all sorts of people: Silver Lake, Fidelity, Thrive. You know, all sorts of money they've got coming in. The whole point of this slide was to show, you know. They've made moves. The National Football League and MLB invested $150 million in Fanatics in 2017. Honestly, we should have seen this coming. Fanatics is, you know, no stranger um, to working with those uh, leagues. And so, you know, it, it is what it is. So, that's the first page. Jay-Z, and how does Jay-Z wrap into this? I'll show you guys in a second how this all works. Jay-Z used to own the Brooklyn Nets. We know he likes his sports. He sold his portion in 2013 because he owns Rock Nation, which also works with agents uh, with agents and players. It was a conflict of interest that made him sell it. The whole point here is, though, that he owns still part of Barclays Center. He is the one that recruited KD and Kyrie to come to the Nets. Then they were able to trade for Harden. So he has big influence with the players, big influence in the NBA, Obviously a financial mogul more than just a rapper now at this point. Um, and here's where we get it's really fun. We'll go here. Um, sports merchandise company Fanatics now valued at 18 billion with new investors, including hip hop mogul Jay-Z. Huh, okay. Well, Jay-Z is now working with Fanatics and he has a relationship with the same guy, same picture. Kind of a lame that they use the same pictures. But Michael Rubin and Jay-Z are tight, okay? They've now done multi-million dollar deals before. Florida-based e-commerce firm. Oh, and by the way, they're in Florida. Uh, Michael Rubin makes a big deal. He's working with Jay-Z um, in Rock Nation. MLB has equity in Fanatics, so they are going to, you know, make money off their success. Um... And yeah, so this is just a bunch of the a bunch of stuff that doesn't really matter. Now here's where it gets interesting. For those who don't know, Blackstone bought CSG. Okay, Blackstone was the main headline. But you know who else was part of that deal? Jay Z's Rock Nation and Michael Rubin invest in Blackstone takeover of Collectibles Company. This is from Complex.com. There are plenty of other articles you can cite. If you don't believe me, I do not own Complex.com. I did not write this article. Jay-Z's Rock Nation has invested in Blackstone's acquisition of CSG, or CCG. You know, they own more than just cards. They do comics. They do coins and currency. They do all sorts of stuff. Magazines, trading cards, blah, blah, blah. $500 million. Also invested was Fanatics founder Michael Rubin, Daryl Morey, and Andre Iguodala and several others, they have many influence across the NBA, other sports, all throwing money into CSG. And are your are the bells and whistles going off in your head right now? Um, others in the game are Beckett and PSA. Um, 
you know, okay. Um, the guy who sold it just kind of gives a little feedback, whatever. Um, yeah, that is the main point of right here. You can skip all the rest of that stuff. If you want to read it, you can read it yourself. But here's why this is huge. Jay-Z and Michael Rubin have already worked deals um, with Blackstone on CSG. This, what, when was this published? Sorry, this might look terrible on your, if you're watching this on TV or something, um, on your YouTube, on TV. I have to pull up when this was. Uh, July 2nd, okay, my bad. July 2nd, 2021, okay? Shortly after, what was it, August 1st, that Fanatics now released that they were taking over um, for Tops and Panini? Long term, 2025. Now, this is years ahead, right? We still have many years to go here, many years to play. Relationships break, relationships grow, people's opinions change. Here's some other things, developments that we've seen in the market. Okay, the market um, prices have dropped a bit, things are kind of returning to a state of normalcy. Um, people are unsure about what Fanatics will bring, and I believe it's going to bring large changes. I believe that Fanatics and CSG are going to do a partnership in 2025 where you can buy something at Fanatics and you can send it off to them for grade. Um, if you want, they'll still be bulk submitters and stuff, but there will be they will be the exclusive partner of CSG or something to that effect, right? Like you can still grade with other companies, but Fanatics and CSG will have some kind of like, you know partnership where they're working together where they are recognized as the leader authenticator blah 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 and why does that matter it might not matter to you now you might say well i love psa psa is they are my king they are i don't want to use anyone else but psa they provide the most value got it i understand you're gonna have your biases but when the masses the people that don't do this every day the people that aren't flipping this for a business the people that just collect a few cards here and there. When the moms and dads see this, when the young people who are new to the hobby see this, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna send to PSA or Beckett or SGC? Mm, probably not. They're gonna send it to C CSG or whatever, you know, collectibles company. <laughs> um, because they're gonna know, hey, Fanatics is pushing them in the stores. You know, Fanatics said to send it there. And that will drive the value up okay um, that is my opinion long term you can comment your disagreements below or your agreements um, it's all connected guys understand that business deals don't happen overnight the larger the business deal the longer time it takes this kind of a deal takes years to develop fanatics has to develop their product still um, they just own the rights they have to develop their product the manufacturing all that stuff for me, this confirms that Fanatics will pre be producing their stuff. And I wouldn't be surprised if they try to push out Tops and Panini. They own all the complete rights to everything. I would not be surprised if they say, hey, we're going to produce it. We want you guys gone. Drive them bankrupt. Um, what do I think this does is you can play in the short term. Hey, make your money at PSA or whoever you want. Like It doesn't matter. But to me, I would be buying up CSG cards. Because once, especially if it's a long term, if it's some, if it's a card or a player you are not selling at all, it's a card um, that you really like. I would just buy it and hold it um, and wait for it to catch on. It takes time, guys. CGC is the top in comics for a reason. They've caught up with Pokemon cards for a reason. They weren't respected at first. Now they are competing with PSA in the Pokemon market trust these guys they know what they're doing they're now getting into video games gonna be doing Yu-Gi-Oh soon trust them they're gonna be fine um, so what am I doing I'm sending basically everything to CSG if it's a quick flip I'll be honest I sent it to SGC because I need to keep you know cash flow going especially if it's like a like I sent a zebra Joe Montana card um, field level okay sent to SGC should get a 9.5 at the very least if it gets lower than that, I'll be pissed but that's a card I can get sell it flip it make my 50 100 bucks without even having to try um, but long term send it to CSG bulk 
hopefully they fix the labels they should um, I don't think that they are completely blind um, to hearing that also understand that they buy slabs ahead of time so you know if they've got a hundred thousand slabs changing the labels not that easy because you have all these pre made slabs you'd have to trash all of them so that's my thoughts guys um, CSG is the move long term I have no doubt about it um, I think PSA is a company that's gonna lose its grip here over time you're already seeing movements of people saying I want to go to SGC or whatever retro hoop collectibles is a big leader of that PSA just what do they bring to the table um, they are gonna be the next Beckett where Becky used to be on top, guys. Um, used to be respected. Used to be the, the top company. Now, who sends to Beckett? Honest to God, who sends to Beckett ever? It makes no sense. Too expensive, too slow, terrible leadership. It's in another co country, as, as I highlighted in another video. Beckett's trash, um, honestly. Um, PSA, I think, is going to fall in that footsteps. Is They have funding, and they're going to put up a good fight. I think a better fight than Beckett's put up, but you know how are you going to be able to compete with fanatics and csg working together so appreciate y'all watching if you made this far please comment like subscribe let me know what y'all think below and i'll see you on the next video peace